going to tell you a story today. Uh, instead of just a purely scientific lecture, this is really a story of what's happened with IV vitamin C over the years. Vitamin C really wasn't discovered until about the 1930s by St. Georgi. And this is a picture of St. Georgi, and he actually called it hexuronic acid, but it was subsequently changed to vitamin C. And then it began being used uh, both as an IM and an intraperitoneal injection uh, for the treatment of infection, uh, particularly polio. And there was a researcher by the name of Jungblatt in New York City who uh, received his vitamin C from Merck and injected it into animals that were uh, given polio on purpose. And he found that these animals actually had improvement in their infections. Uh, the majority of them survived without um, any untoward effects. So there was this excitement about the use of vitamin C as an injectable going way back into the 30s. But what happened was uh, Sabin, who was known for the vaccine, investigated vitamin C in the same way that Jungbluck did, and he found that there really wasn't a benefit. And there was discrepancies in the way that the uh, vitamin C was administered to the animals that were given polio. But what happened was, because he was really the godfather of polio treatment, vitamin C fell out of favor and it went underground. Now here's one of the doctors who kept vitamin C alive, a Dr. Klenner in North Carolina. And he was uh, well known in the integrative medicine community, at that time alternative medicine community, for using uh, vitamin C both injected in the muscles and injected in the vein um, in, in a liquid form. And the majority of his patients had some form of infection. Uh, polio was one of them because there really wasn't an effective treatment at that time in, uh, for polio. Uh, but also measles and mumps and mononucleosis, a variety of infectious diseases. He was able to treat those. Now, uh, I've, I've had friends that have visited him, other doctors that had visited uh, Dr. Klenner when he was still alive, and it was really a life-changing experience for them. I never did meet Dr. Klenner, but I have read his papers, and um, really very interesting effects. But this, again, was underground, and the conventional doctors really didn't know anything about it.